How y'all doing today? All right. I'm going to do something totally different. And you know, I'm always out the way, but I don't want to be disrespectful to nobody. But I want to actually say a prayer for Pritchard Cologne. You know, we, we talk about praying, but I want to take the time right now to pray for him. And if anybody feel disrespected, I'm sorry, because for me, I just want to show my respect for somebody that's fought so hard. His brother, who is just doing a translation for him, sits by his, his bedside every day and waiting for his brother to come out of a coma. That's, that's real deal. So everybody bow their head, please. I want to thank God so much for having the opportunity and the impact. I want to pray for Richard Cologne, Richard Cologne, Richard Cologne, Lord, that you may be able to see him through his storm, Lord. Watch over his brother while he give him the strength. Lord, make sure that you provide another day for him and his family. Give him the strength. I want to pray all these heavenly things in your son, name Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. It's important for me to do that because, you know, um, I found something. You know, see that title right there? It's not about the title for me. I found out something in this camp. It's about how much you impact the person. I need to plant seeds in people's hearts that, you know, you can be from an effed up situation, oversee the storm, and come back even stronger. So I, I, try, I, I fight for the people that need strength, you know, that come from the hood. Black America, all the Cubans that come here fighting for opportunity. People in Brooklyn trying to get out of Brooklyn. I, that's who I fight for. Marcus Brown, who's a father, you know, that's... It's a blessing to see a father with his kid because where I'm from, you don't see many fathers doing that. So I'm thankful. But let me get down to the, what it's supposed to be. I want to thank Showtime. You know, Steven Espinoza, you know, they. I'm glad to be on Showtime. You know, it's like a home to me. I'm thankful because y'all give me the light that, you know, I can get out to the world and be a positive person, impact. I want to thank my All Access crew who was down there with me, inspired me. I just found out I'm the only boxer in history that they've been working with, that have a working wife. And they've been working for over 25 years, so it's a blessing to be able to have that. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank my wife, because she definitely helped me produce my, my, my message and my story. I'm thankful to have her. I, I recognize that I got so many things to be blessed and so many things to be happy for. So I want to thank my wife for just being such a support system for me. Um, Lou DeBella, you know, we've been, we've been friend and foes, you know what I mean? So. Um, I'm thankful for being on your, your card. You know, he's a New York promoter. He gave me an opportunity early in my career. You know, I made a splash in his in his circuit. So I'm thankful to be part of this whole thing again, once again, okay? Bar Barclay Center, Brett Yarmark, you know, a big inspiration to me, you know what I mean? Giving guys like me an opportunity to showcase my talent, be part of something huge. You know, everybody want to be part of something bigger than themselves. And I think all the people I'm on the panel with, gives me that reason to fight even harder. You know, Danny Jacobs, I want to thank you. I want to tell you why, because you're the champ, calling an undefeated challenger out. It's a blessing. Let me know how far I came, you know what I mean? I come from nothing, so I'm thankful to be able to have this, this light, this opportunity. You know, my dad came here to this country without a pair, without a pair of shoes on and without a shirt, just a pair of pants. And now his son is fighting for a world title fight. That's a blessing, thankful. All the fighters that's on this panel who fighting with their own story, Ruel, I've been a big fan of yours. Jury, God bless you for all your, your journey. All these guys here, Chris, all these guys making their story, man, it's a blessing. I just want y'all to just give respect to the fighters. You know, we go in there, fight for whatever reason we fight for, and you guys are the fans of that, and we just want to be thankful for people that support us for positive reasons. It's a blessing to be able to do so. I want to thank Al Heyman, who's my advisor. You know what I mean, Al Heyman? Let me tell y'all, he changed the game of boxing and how y'all view it. Y'all seeing fights on every network out there, you know what I mean? Um, I hear a lot of people bash him, but I'm like, you know man, this man gave me the opportunity to be able to feed my family. He actually gave me some of the best advice that I can live by and feel comfortable going to the ring with. So I want to thank Al Hammond in such a big way for giving you know, the fighters an opportunity, a bigger voice than we ever had in life. Not even that, I got a 529 plan set up for my son for education, all because of the, the advice that Al gives me, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people think Al, you know, made me give up my belt or advised me to give up my belt. I gave my belt because I wanted to spend time with my family. No money can sell me out for that, you know what I'm saying? I'm thankful because he says, what good for a man to gain the whole world but forfeit his soul, you know? So I'm glad I made the decisions that I made in life that taught me to be a better man and a better person. I want to thank the media, because regardless of what y'all get of me, 
you know, it's inspiring and it will motivate me regardless of what you write. I'm thankful. I want to thank God for this opportunity. Y'all be blessed. Go home, hug your family because, you know, it's a blessing to be able to do that. And air is for free, so we got to be thankful every morning we get that. God bless y'all. Thank you. It's just a whole lot of people to thank. I just want to thank everyone who played a part in making this happen. This is going to be a very special card. Um, I'm privileged to be in, in, in to share the ring with Peter Quillen. As I said and alluded to in the past, that he's been on the radar for a very long time. And it's not because he's uh, this superstar or this whatever he claims to be, but it's more so that I understand that this is a fight that Brooklyn deserves. This is something that I understand that the Barclay has been asking for for a very long time. And this is why this fight has happened. Um, I'm looking forward to that night. I understand what he brings to the table. I'm more than ready for the, uh, the challenge. And you're gonna see exactly why my late great trainer, Victor Roundtree, always say, I rise to the occasion. Um, today is my son's birthday, Nathaniel. So I just wanna wish him a very happy birthday. Son, I love you. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna really waste you guys time, but as Lou said, please get your tickets. You're not gonna wanna miss this. It's gonna be different being on TV than actually being there and witnessing that Brooklyn crowd and that energy and that, and that vibe and just the whole electricity throughout the building. It's gonna be uh, probably, in my opinion, one of the best fights that Barclay has produced thus far. I'm excited about it. Once again, I wanna thank everyone who played a part in this. Let's go, Team Jacobs, we here, baby. female boxing is not really common so thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving us a spot a uh, place to showcase our talent um, I'll be doing an eight round rematch uh, me and Nono did eight rounds of war toe to toe back in, in May and she wants to come back and watch me beat her again so, <laughs> so make sure you get there early on Saturday because they put us early <laughs> Brett you're Mac now Heyman for letting me showcase my talent, like you as usual. But um, like you said, um, I'm here to showcase my talent and do what I gotta do. Um, great card. I know both of these guys personally, so I'm, I don't really care who wins. May the best man win. And uh, honestly, longer, man. Come on, brother. I don't really know, but at the same time, it's like the love is the, the love is still the same, man. You know, and it's hard because it's tugging at me, you know. But uh, most importantly, man, this is a great card. Besides the TV, they got great fighters on this card. So make sure you come out early and show these guys support because they deserve it. And they're putting their records on the line. And uh, most importantly, I'm just ready to show out on Saturday. God bless you guys and be good. Primero, gracias a Dios. Heavy Father and Heavy Mother. No, creo que agradecido con la oportunidad que se me da ahora. También sé que. Para muchas personas soy alguien que recién aparece, pero creo que el boxeo es de sorpresas, todo el mundo. Este año ha sido 
de mucha sorpresa, entonces yo creo que estoy preparado para poder dar la sorpresa y a, aprovechar la oportunidad que se me ha dado. Buenas noches a todos. Quiero decir gracias a todos los que están aquí. Y quiero que todos sepan que el boxing es sobre dar sorpresas. Everybody knows in boxing, everybody has one opportunity. This is my opportunity on Saturday night. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all for being here. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Luda Bella of the Bella Entertainment, uh, Joe DeGuardia from Star Boxing, Steven Espinosa from Showtime Sports, as this will be my first appearance on Showtime Extreme. I'm looking forward to that very much. I would also like to thank my friend Brett Yormark over at the Barclays Center, which has become a second home for me. I um, have had some great performances there. Looking to have another great performance, sensational one, this Saturday night. If you haven't gotten tickets yet, be sure to. And if not, definitely check out the uh, telecast starting early. And it's really an honor to fight on a card with so many great fights and so many great matchups. It's really going to be great fights from, from beginning to end. And uh, it, it's, it's truly an honor to be back here in Brooklyn and to perform with such other great fighters. And, uh, Make sure you tune in, whether you're there in the seats or you're, you're tuned in on Showtime Extreme. Make sure you check out my fight. It's going to be a sensational victory. Thank you. Saludos. Primero que nada, darle gracias a Dios por darme la oportunidad de estar aquí con ustedes. First of all, I want to say thanks to God for this opportunity to be here with you, with all of us. Eh, gracias a Dudivela, a, a la compañía Showtime, por darme la oportunidad, a mi mismo Jesús Coyer, por aceptar la pelea. Eh, es un gran reto y, y estamos aquí para eso. Uh, thanks to Ludivella for this great opportunity, Showtime, Steven Espinosa, also, and also Cuellar for giving me this great opportunity. Sabemos eh, eh, la gran oportunidad de ponerme campeón del mundo para mí sería una bendición, como ha hecho para, para eh, dicho compañero. Eh, también este, quiero este, expresarme a, a, mi, a mi compañía Puerto Rico de Boxing y a mi equipo por estar ahí conmigo siempre. Sabemos el gran reto, sabemos el estilo de Cuellar, el, el, es una gran pelea, me gusta el estilo, el estilo, el estilo que, que pelea Cuellar. O sea que va a ser una guerra donde habla Blood in the Ring este, y nada, espero que se den cita, ya el viernes estaremos dando el peso y, y eso es la pelea. Dios los bendiga. Okay, I know how important, I mean, this fight is for me. Um, I know Koya's style, you know, I know he's very aggressive, so I like that style. I know that will be a war that night on the ring, will be blood on the ring. I want to thank all my team and uh, my promoter, promoters. Um, thanks, and I see you on Saturday. God bless you. Thank you. Hola, buenas tardes. Bueno, nada, estoy muy bien preparado preparado para el sábado voy a llevar el triunfo para Argentina eh, Oquendo viene bien preparado ojalá se dé una gran pelea y bueno, va a estar va a estar viendo una gran pelea el sábado, muchísimas gracias Buenas afternoon, so everybody I want to say thank you for being here it's going to be a great victory for Argentina on Saturday I'm well prepared, I know Jonathan Oquendo is a great fighter but I have a victory on Saturday night thank you very much So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.